Hi guys, here we are with another weird video from Mrs. Weens with a bad voice. <laughs> so uh, we're continuing with logarithms and now we're going to learn the laws of logarithms. So up until now, um, we've had exponent laws, um, but now we're going to learn the logarithmic laws, which are actually quite similar. So hopefully that will help you in memorizing these laws. So we have three I'm going to outline for you. The product law, the quotient law, and the power law. I would encourage you to pause the video, copy all this down, and then um, that would allow yourself to just listen and pay attention while I describe them. So the product law with exponents, when you have two powers of the same base, you add the exponents. So a to the x plus y. In logarithms, if you have two um, logarithms with the same base, so the base is here, it's that subscript uh, number, if there's the same base there, then you actually just multiply together the, um, the addition there, okay? So if you have log base A of X, Y, you can break that out into log base A of X plus log base A of Y. So, or if you're given log base A of X plus log base A of Y, you can multiply those two together, okay? Now the quotient law for exponents is that a to the power x divided by a to the power y means that you subtract the exponents. With logarithms, if you have a division here, then you take the same base and you subtract log base a of x, subtract log base a of y. Or if you're given log base a of x minus log base a of y, as long as they have the same base, you can turn that into a single logarithm where you're dividing x by y. <clears throat> okay, now this one is, comes up the most often next unit when we're actually solving exponential and logarithmic equations. The power law. So we're used to that um, if we have a power to a power, then we multiply the two exponents. But here this is quite different. If you have log base A of X to the R, you can actually bring down the R to the front, okay, and rewrite it as R times log A of X. So whatever the exponent is of the logarithm you're taking can be moved to the front there. Okay, so you will now see how this is useful in a few examples. One note, that's of course, it's very important to remember that logs and exponents have to have the same base for this to work. So be sure that you're looking in this number here for the base to make sure that you're allowed to use these laws of logarithms. Okay, so they can be used forwards or backwards. So we might take from here and go to here, or from here and go to here. All right, so let's get going with some examples then. Okay. So, our first question asks us to simplify log base 3 of 6 plus log base 3 of 4.5. So you'll notice that we can't solve for these individually because you'll say 3 to the power what equals 6. Well, I can't do that in my head because 3 to the 1 equals 3, 3 squared equals 9, so I don't know what the solution to that is. Same thing with this guy. But if we use our log of, laws of logarithms, we can take the same base and multiply 6 times 4.5. So that gives us log base 3 of 27. And now this is something that we can solve. You just have to think 3 to the power what is 27? Oh, that's equal to 3. So the solution is 3. Okay, so how about you pause the video and try B. So you should have gotten log base 2 of 48 divided by 3. Okay, since you have subtraction here, the laws tell us we can divide 48 by 3. So that's log base 2 of 16. Now you have to think 2 to the power what gives us 16. So if you need to think in your head 2 to the what equals 16, well that should be 4. So the solution is 4. Okay, so here now we have this, but we can rewrite as a power, okay? So if we see a root, we want to rewrite as a power. So this can be written as log base 5 of 25 to the 1 third. 
Okay, so the power of a power rule tells us that we can take this one third and put it out front. So we get one third log base five of 25. Okay, and this here is just equal to two because you think five to the power what equals 25? Well, that would be squared. So you get one third times two, which equals two thirds. So that's the solution there. Okay, so that's the most basic way that the laws can be applied. Now we have example two, which asks us to compare log 1000x and g at x equals three plus log x. Well, I'm going to take um, log of 1000x and use my rules to rewrite it in a different way. Okay, so remember since no base is written here, we can assume that it's base 10. So remember that you assume base 10 if no base is written. Okay, so um, our product law says that we can change this into log of 1000 plus log of x. Okay, so I just this, thought about this as 1000 times x and broke it up into addition with the same base. So log of 1000 is the same thing as asking 10 to the power of what equals 1000. Okay, so we can think about that. That's our thought bubble. Well, that's just 3. 10 to the power 3 is 1,000 plus log x. And oh, that just equals g at x. So f at x and g at x are in fact equal. Okay, so here's where we get into some more complicated questions that look kind of similar to um, when we tried to simplify exponential um, expressions using our laws. So we basically need to unpack this. So you'll see there are two examples. Here's one with one logarithm that it wants us to break into many logarithms. And this example is many logarithms that it wants us to pack into one logarithm. So you'll be expected to know how to do either one of these things. So the first thing you should do if there's any root involved, you want to turn it into an exponent instead. You don't want to deal with that root. Not fun. Okay? So you're going to change this into log base a, the whole thing in brackets, x to the power 3, y squared over w to the power 1 half. Because square root means that it's to the power 1 half. Okay? So now you're going to bring this 1 half in front. Okay, so that's gotten rid of this one half. So how do I break this out? So I only have um, log ax, log ay, and log aw. Well, there's division here, so I can use my subtraction. Okay, that's the quotient law. So I'm going to use the quotient law first. Well, actually, I already used the power law. I used the power law first. Now I'm going to use the quotient law to break this up. So one half and I'll put in big brackets log base a of x cubed y squared minus log base a of w. So make sure that you have the square brackets because this one half applies to the entire thing. Okay, so now I can use the product law to split up x cubed and y squared. Okay, so instead of that I can write log base a of x cubed plus log base a of y squared minus log base a of w. Okay, so I'm still not done because it asked me to do it in terms of log base a to the x, etc. So I can't have any exponents. So I need to use the power law again to bring these exponents down. So this 3 I can put in front here and this 2 I can put in front here and I don't have to worry about anything there. So 1 half, 3 log base a of x plus 2 log base a of y minus log base a of w. Okay, and now I just multiply through. Okay, so a distributive property. So I just distribute the half. So I get 3 over 2 log base a of x 
plus 2 over 2, so just log base A of Y minus a half log base A of W. And we're done. Now it's in terms of these, so we're done. Okay, so in example four, we want to do the ex exact opposite. So instead of unraveling one big logarithm, we want to pack up a bunch of logarithms into one logarithm. Okay, so what we want to do first is put all of these coefficients up as exponents. Okay, so we're undoing the power law. So you would have log base A of X to the power of 3 quarters minus, uh, it would still just be log base A of Y plus log base A of W to the 1 quarter. So that is from the power law. Okay, so now I want to um, use the either the quotient law or the product law. So I want to just put the addition together just so I'm not confused, okay? Because I want to put the additions together so I don't make a mistake. So log base A of X to the 3 quarters plus log base A of W to the 1 quarter minus log base A of Y. Okay, so I just rearranged. Okay, so now I'm going to use the product law. Okay, so log base A of X to the 3 quarters, W to the 1 quarter, minus log base A of Y. So that was the product law. And now I'm going to use the quotient law. So we'll have log base A of X to the 3 quarters, W to the 1 quarter, divided by, oh sorry, not all divided by, but just in my argument here this part divided by y and that was using the quotient law so there you go I have it as a single